Tell you what, uh, that game was a roller coaster of emotions. You know, when Georgia had the 14 nothing lead, I was just like, oh no, we're losing to them again, aren't we? Then when we uh, tied it back up, I'm like, okay, okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. And of course, and then the trash pick six, I'm, you know, it's just like, god damn it. And then we responded, Trask responded. He played his ass off for the rest of the half and got us a huge 17 point lead. And uh, tell you, well, that was a great way to end the first half. And um, then of course, second half was interesting. Uh, we only did had like two field goals, offense just fell flat, play calling was uh, suspect. Uh, defense, while they weren't great, you know, I'm just going to say this. Defense is lucky, Georgia has. Defense is lucky because Georgia has so much, many bad quarterbacks on that team. Stetson Bennett's not a good quarterback, and neither is uh, number two, Mathis. I forgot how to pronounce his first name, and I didn't want him. But sure, it. So. Makes you wonder uh, how good JT really is, or how healthy he really is. But, anyway, he said it's still great that we, uh, it's still great that we won. I I'm very happy we won. I'm very glad we didn't let our mistakes screw us, you know? Uh, I will say, uh, if we did, I will admit if we had pits out there, we probably would have, uh, scored more points, you know, like the uh, Trayvon Grimes drop in that coverage. I think Pitts, I think that throws usually to Pitts, and Pitts would have caught that, and we probably score more points. So it was really a mixture of bad receiver play and bad play calling, and di and I'm not going to exclude Trask, you know. He didn't have, uh, he did not have a great half. He did not have great throws, but, you know, he still played great. You know, it was a great win. I'm very happy. You know, I can't really complain too much. That was a great win, you know. We we deserved to win that game. We were so much... We were better. We were the better team today, and it showed. And uh, it feels so good to get that monkey off our backs, you know. Especially for Dan Mullen. He's got to feel so good because the narrative has been, you know, can never beat Georgia, you know, and probably won't ever beat Georgia. And right coming into this game, uh, you know, and I was uh, agree with, and I agreed with this statement. By the way, if we don't beat Georgia this year, we're never beating Georgia again. And that statement was proved wrong, and I'm very happy about it. And uh, tell you what, I'm very happy that uh, we we had some good secondary play for a few plays. And by good secondary play, I mean interceptions. That's really the only good secondary play we had. But, uh, tell you what, uh, Kyrie Elam was still, he's still good. He's still a good safe corner. And, you know, Brenton Cox didn't exactly have a revenge game, but at least he got the sack. I'm very happy about that. And, tell you what, the importance of Zachary Carter, you know, was shown in that second half because... He, he pressured Mathis and Bennett all half. You know, he got him to make some stupid throws. You know, that's how important having someone like Zachary Carter on the team is. And let me just say, uh, Malik Davis is a fantastic receiving back. I, I love the uh, rebound year he's had. You know, he's had a good rebound season after not a great year. Still not a great runner, but... I'll take this Malik Davis over 2019 Malik Davis. So, now, we are sitting on top of the SEC East. It's been a long time since we've done that. All right, last time we did it was 2016, and that head coach was Jim McElwain. All right, this is the year we have to hold on, okay? We can't lose out for the rest of the year. We got Arkansas, Tennessee, LSU, Vanderbilt, and Kentucky, I, and that is not an order, by the way. I know, I know that's not an order, but we can, if we lose to one of those teams, I'm going to be flat out embarrassed, but 
I just can't see us losing for the rest of the year. We have to, we have to win out. All right, this is the year we make the SEC championship. This is the year, and we probably could do something. But here's what we need to do: we need, you know, defense got bailed out on that game because of bad quarterback play. All right, we need to do a better job of playing better coverage on receivers. And actually stopping the run game. Keep up the pressure, though. Pressure was great today. You know, you, you got you made Mathis and Bennett throw bad passes all game, and you know you got to keep up the pressure. And honestly, keep up the offense. Keep it going. Don't uh, no more vanilla play calling. All right, we got it, we got close games better. But overall. Great win. I'm very happy about this win. It's a great day for me. Uh, and it's not just because of that. Other reason, I'm not going to say because I feel like it would cause controversy. So, go Gators and to hell of Georgia. Also, one more thing. Screw number 16 on Georgia.